Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here again, and today we're doing some more Diablo, but I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. So I took your feedback into consideration, and um, I've basically cut out a lot of the um, boring stuff, if you like. Um, so here I actually ding level 21, and we do get some really cool abilities. We get um, Locust Swarm, which is amazing, and we also get Firebomb, which is also amazing. Um, so as you can see, I'm actually equipping them here. So... Uh, back to um, how the videos are going to be done. Um, as for like Minecraft, I'm still going to do them as live commentaries. Um, I might like stop recording, um, do a little bit of work, and then of course um, come back and um, just basically edit it together, um, just to basically save time because I want basically as much information and fun about the game um, in a short amount of time. And it's kind of like, for instance, with this Diablo video today, I'm doing it in post-commentary, which basically means, if you didn't know, um, it's where you watch the video back yourself and then you commentate over it. And that's post-commentary. Live commentary is where you actually just record and play at the same time. You know, both of them have their perks and disadvantages. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a post-commentary in, in whoa, forever, to be honest. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've done one. Um, as you can see here, I'm just testing out the abilities. Um, some of the abilities are okay. Um, I've kind of got like a rhythm of abilities down in which order I use them. I think they're basically um, the best abilities that I can have at the minute. And I think I'll probably be using these um, probably in the future. I think these are some of the core abilities I'm going to be using. Um, and they are, of course, um, Spirit Walk, I believe it is, which is my Q. And that's going to allow me to basically negate a lot of the damage, pretty, pretty much all of it, for a short amount of time. I'm going to be using Soul Harvest because that just increases my damage so much. And that will um, basically make my um, Locust Swarm and my Fire Bomb do even more damage. And so here I just picked up the last um, Blood, so that's awesome. Um, now my E and R abilities, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be using with these. Um, I do like the Gan Gunter or whatever it's called. Um, I do like it because it it basically tanks while I have the ability to um, stay at the back and actually throw in some fire bombs. Um, so I might keep that. Um, as for my E, not quite sure what I'm going to be using there. Um, but yeah, it will be something in the future. I'm not quite sure um, what abilities I'm going to be getting. I want kind of an, an, an AOE ability because Locust Swarm, I put it on and then I move back and that's going to basically jump from target to target. And then of course, the Firebomb does AOE damage anyways. Um, so I might take a defensive ability or I might take, um, you know, just um, another AOE ability it would be kind of ideal. Um, so basically, I'm attacking these mobs. These mobs were actually quite hard, um, even though they're not... Um, like elite packs or anything like that or blue mobs or gold mobs and uh, they're just normal mobs so but you know I did this on my wizard um, and I never encountered as many mobs as I did on this and this time when I went through it on the witch doctor I'm not quite sure why that is um, I think it's just the way Diablo is it everything is basically random um, so what I'm basically doing is I'm leaving this part in. This part is basically just me finding the um, next part, which is the um, the shadow lock. Um, and I'm leaving this in because I want to show you guys um, how I actually deal with monsters at this level, um, at being a witch doctor. So I'm currently level 21. Um, the abilities I use is locust swarm. Uh, now, the, the way I basically try to deal with packs of monsters, especially AoE packs, um, is I'll run in with my Q ability, I will use my W ability while in the middle of all the mobs to basically gain my stacks of um, intelligence. I think it's 30 intelligence per stack. Um, and then I will basically use um, my Locust Swarm, which will basically jump to target from target, and then just use my Fire Bomb. Um, as you can see in the video now, my E has changed to them um, hands. I quite can't remember what it's called, uh, but that's a very good ability to use because it basically keeps them in place for me, so I can actually use my fire bomb. And um, so if my Garganto uh, busy doesn't tank for me, same with the Templar, at least they are slowed. Now, as you can see here, um, I'm using my E and my um, Locust Swarm and my fire bomb. 
and it's very easy to actually nuke monsters down. And my um, R mob is just there, just a tank. Um, I don't. What's what could I call this mob? Because I can't keep saying the Gargan crew. Um, I'll just call him my second companion. How about that? <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope uh, I do get to upgrade him soon. In fact, I do upgrade him in this uh, video, but. His upgrade wasn't good. It basically gave him the ability to actually cleave. Now, as you can see here, I soul harvested tons of dudes, and I got my five stacks like instantly. I believe it's five stacks. I hope it is. Can't really see um, from the playback, but yeah, um, killing monsters is <laughs> definitely easy, as you guys can see. Um, and locust swarm obviously scales with your damage. So when I do actually soul harvest them. I do more damage, so the ticks on the Locust Swamp actually do more damage. And at the minute, I've, I'm rocking about 95 damage, which is um, very pitiful. But um, at level 24, I do have a pretty decent weapon that should increase my damage because it's basically got an Inferno gem in, um, a red damage gem. So it should bump my damage up quite a lot, which will make um, for faster leveling, I hope. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this style of um, videos. You know, I'm, I'm going to be basically putting a lot more time into them. And I guess doing post commentaries, um, I can actually afford to put more time into them because I can basically edit them, the clips together, and I can edit as many clips as I want. And just basically mash them up to bring you guys some really uh, cool stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, my carpet is coming um, on Monday, it's going to be fit on Monday. I ordered it on Friday. Um, so yeah, it's going to be coming Monday. And then I'm also going out Monday. So I'm going to go get some bits and bats for the room just to finish it off. Um, I need some um, blinds for the window. And I need a new bin. Um, and I also want a few other bits and bats. Um, but yeah, the, the office is almost done. That I'm really excited because I can actually get back into uh, being more productive. You know, I, I've told you guys before that um, as of late, you know, everything's, it's, I don't know, it's difficult to put in the effort or be motivated um, in, in the current condition uh, of my life at the minute because, you know, things are just really um, hectic at the minute and I just don't have the um, the comfortable feeling of doing something. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't feel comfortable like sometimes I feel like I rush my commentaries and stuff and that's because I don't know when the phone will ring or when someone will be knocking at the door however when I'm upstairs then it is completely different because I can't hear the phone upstairs um, and I can't hear people knocking at the door so basically I don't have any like worries I can just relax and um, if I miss someone then of course they can f always phone back later um, but yeah um, I actually got some new abilities I did try these abilities out, the, conf the Confuse ability or Confusion, it wasn't that good, uh, let me tell you. Um, it's got like a 30 or um, 60 second cooldown, it's very long um, and it doesn't really last that long. So um, I changed it out for Soul Harvest, you know, I wanted to test them, it wasn't that good. Also the Hex, the Shaman Hexer, Hex Shaman or whatever the hell it's called, um, again that wasn't that good. He doesn't actually hex um, like the um, the stronger mobs like I'm fighting now, the gold mobs if you like. Um, they don't actually hex them for some reason. Uh, I don't know if I'm using him wrong or whatever, but he's just not hexing them. So um, I'd rather use my Q ability, which actually 100% um, um, avoided damage for a, a you know a few seconds um, and actually gave me a speed increase. And that really works well with my soul harvest, and I can zoom in there, I can use my W ability, get all them souls, run back out, and then, you know, start locust swarming and all that good stuff. So, these mobs are taking a while to kill, and that is solely down to my damage being totally crap. Um, I know you guys have, you know, been playing really um, good and stuff, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have way more damage than I do. Um, level 21, I've got about 95 damage. It's, it's very weak, it's crap in fact. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you guys have way better damage. So it's all about the damage in Diablo. Um, you know, defense is good, but 
you get defensive abilities that help you out better than you know actual having defensive items um the only class that really needs 100 percent defense is is melee classes like um well i guess the only one will probably be the barbarian you know you really just need a lot of defense um the monk has a lot of self-healing so he doesn't need as much he can just go for pure damage but then again it all boils down to having as much damage as possible the more damage you do the faster you kill the monsters um I'm not quite sure if that's still the same on Inferno. Perhaps you have to balance it uh, between defense and damage, which I, I probably think that would be a, a good idea. Uh, but I'm nowhere near Inferno yet on the Witch Doctor. But um, yeah, I'm almost finished Act 2, I believe. Um, I've got a few more quests to do. I think I've got to beat Belial, and then I go to Act 3, which is awesome. Um, and I. Act 3 is basically um, boss, 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 boss. It's kind of like a big group of bosses. It's just like a boss after boss. Um, I really like Act 3 to Act 4. Really good. Um, act 1 and Act 2, quite long. Um, so, yeah. Um, I expect to level up quite fast once I hit Act 3. Because, again, uh, the bosses are so close together. And the quests are very short. Uh, it's very easy, in fact. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, these um, elite mobs are quite difficult to kill. Well, they're not difficult to kill. They just take a long time to kill. Uh, I'm getting some soul harvesting here just to increase my damage as much as possible. I'm running away. Um, as you can see here, Locust Swarm does have a very short range. So I have to be careful when to use it because it costs about 136 mana. Which is a lot, so you can't really spam it. Um, so you need to be careful when using it, but the best thing about this is the fire bomb does a lot of damage and it's spammable um, It doesn't cost any mana whatsoever So I'm, re I'm really happy that I got a really cool ability especially an AOE ability Now here we're basically killing the boss um, He's very easy. He basically does some fire damage. He does some whirlwinds He teleports occasionally and he also puts down like um, a bubble that slows your attack speed um, that bubble there. Um, also, he does do a, the occasional rock fall. Easy stuff to avoid. Don't do too much damage. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't have really um, sucked up all them health potions um, when I killed them two big golem guys uh, because you know they're pretty good for th throughout the fight. Because um, as you can see, I don't really have that many health potions. But I didn't run into any trouble really. The boss was quite easy to actually kill which I'm really disappointed about you know they don't seem like much of a challenge whatsoever but you know I think later in the acts um, like nightmare mode and all that stuff I think it will become more challenging um, I don't think I've died on a boss yet uh, no I haven't died on a boss yet on the witch doctor uh, died a few times on the wizard but hey that's a different story um, so here I've, I've got a nice ring upgrade, um, it's got a gem slot so I'll be able to put in um, a nice uh, damage gem, I don't know what they're called, I keep thinking back to World of Warcraft, uh, to the like bold sapphire diamonds or whatever they're called, um, but yeah, I'm, I want to get some gems, my brother actually um, is going to give me some, so that I'll should increase my damage quite a lot, um, I think I've got two gem slots I can actually use which is good and I also have a, a third one which is already well already has a gem in and that's the um, dagger that my um, friend um, gave me so yeah um, next few episodes we're gonna have way way more increased damage which is gonna be awesome so guys um, it's coming to an end now I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it um, and thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button peace guys